So are you pregnant and awkwardly trying to catch your wee in that tiny little pot every appointment? Well, here is why we do it and how to make it easier. It's awkward. Trying to balance that cup whilst you're heavily pregnant in a public loo, it's not fun. But here is a good reason that we do check your urine at every antenatal visit. Even when you're feeling completely well, we're actually checking for the silent signs that might put you or your baby at risk. So here is what we're looking out for. Firstly, protein. This can be an early warning sign of preeclampsia. Sugar, which can suggest gestational diabetes or white cells or nitrates that are signs of a urinary tract infection, even if you don't have any symptoms. So outside of pregnancy, if you've got one of these symptomless urinary infections, you might not even know, and we often wouldn't treat it. But in pregnancy, even asymptomatic UTIs matter, and that's because untreated infections are linked with a higher risk of preterm birth, a higher risk of low birth weight, and potential kidney infections, which can be more severe when you're pregnant and even lead to sepsis. So this is why we check your urine every time. And if we find something, even if you feel fine, we often send that sample to the lab and we treat it if needed. So here's my top tips for doing that sample. Firstly, sit down. Yes, it's grim. It's a hospital toilet, but it's impossible to hover and also aim correctly. You should aim for midstream. So we a little bit at first and then catch the sample. And that's the best way that we can avoid contaminating your urine. Also, you can ask for a bigger container if it's really fiddly. And don't panic if you miss the pot or if you spill it. It's super common. It's only your own wee getting on your hands. And if you need to try again later on, drink some water and have another go, that's absolutely fine. So what happened with your urine test in pregnancy? Was anything unexpected ever found? 